Hey, hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new, welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here. What we do around here is bring about conversations of a psychological, mental health, emotional health paradigm. We try to do that as often as we can, usually multiple times per week, although sometimes my schedule, like this week, has been a bit chaotic. This is actually busier this season than it normally is for me. Um, hopefully that's a, a sign of things to come in the weeks and months to come that would help me uh, execute my move, but that's a different story for a different day. In any event, um, at the end of the day, uh, would love to be of service to you if that is uh, possible. I uh, would love to have you reach out if you are looking for coaching, life, relationship, habit change, business, all point introspection, all points in between, trauma recovery, all points in between. would love to be of service to you. You can reach out through Twitter at PO Perception or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either way, we'll get you where you want to be. And we can do that as uh, effectively as possible. So, um, kind of things that the world may be trying to teach you. Dreams, both metaphorically and literally. So the dream state or the t time when we're asleep but still having thoughts and emotions is are important, but also dreams, goals, and aspirations and, and crazy desires for things of the future that we don't necessarily know about is, can be helpful. So pay attention to your dreams, the things you want to accomplish, but also the things you... Um, which you had accomplished at a different level. All of these are valuable things. As I take a swig of water so that I don't start coughing here. In any event, um, there's value in, in living your dreams. There's value in, in connecting with your dreams and knowing that your dreams, in fact, do have complete, uh, you know, connective value from a, a deeper perspective. Um, so, um, you know, there's, there's, there's connection there and there's, there's value to that. Um, And so understanding that we have the, the ability to do that would be beneficial. Um, using dreams in the, in the right way can be cool, can be connective, can be um, focused. And focus is one of the most important things we can do for any number of reasons. Understanding what we're focused on and why it's our focus. Understanding that having a focus that at least has a positive bent to it is important. So continually focusing on negativity is never good. So shifting at least back to neutral when necessary is a valuable thing to learn to do. Also, understanding that your focus is going to be where your mind goes and then where your actions go as a result. So if you don't like the quality of your life, changing your focus is one way to almost instantaneously or within a couple of days lead you to where you need to be. Um, thought change and thought ability, um, um, you know, can, can get you where, you where, where you need to be. So changing thoughts as it relates to and linking thoughts and the value of linking thoughts and getting where you, um, getting something where you where you need to be can be can be valuable from that perspective the next thing is get rid of fear of rejection rejection is part of life because not every idea we, we are going to have is perfect not every idea we're going to have fits everyone's need and the idea of someone rejecting what what you love is uncomfortable but it's necessary because there are people that are going to disagree with the value of what you're offering that doesn't mean that it doesn't have value. It just means it doesn't connect with everybody. And if something connected with everybody, it would have to be very universal in its nature. The next thing to consider is know your self-worth. Know the worth of the things you're trying to accomplish. Know the worth of the things of what you're trying to do. And getting to a place of, of deeper value from that perspective. Now, doesn't mean that you have to be good at everything to be worth something. It also doesn't mean that you can't grow and be better at something than you used to be and have greater worth or less worth. But also, don't let other people determine your worth. Yes, they should know it, 
but you need to determine your worth because when you let someone else determine it, your level of success and happiness is can is directly related to them. Be as resourceful as you can be. The more people you know, the more situations you're familiar with, the more concepts you understand, the more educated you are, the more resources you have. So look for ways to expand your educational and emotional intelligence based on knowledge. The more you do that, the easier it is to deal with the various challenges that life will throw us. The next is avoid complaining. Obviously, there are things we don't enjoy. And complaining for a you know, a second or two or a sentence or two has its value, especially if something can be changed relatively easily without inconveniencing many people. But in reality, and here's the truth that people don't want to hear, most people could care less if you're complaining because they're dealing with something themselves. So even though whatever you're complaining about is important to you, even though what you're complaining about has value to you, who says that it has value to the person you're complaining about it to? And so if it doesn't have value to them, they're not going to change anyway, which means you're expending energy that isn't going in a positive direction. It doesn't mean don't speak your opinion, but when it veers into complaining and, and results aren't, aren't shifting, when it veers into speaking the same thing over and over again and nothing is changing, you might want to look at doing something different instead. The next thing is kind of looking at service. Find ways to serve. Serve yourself, serve others, serve the greatest good, serve a stranger, serve a, a motivated factor, serve all sorts of things. And then you'll be able to understand how to get to a deeper way. In any event, keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.